I'm pleased to announce that Fairfax County is rolling out a new community tool, the Community Emergency Response Guide, and we call it CERG for short. With this guide, communities can easily use templates to develop an emergency plan for their homes, for their businesses, for their organizations or neighborhoods. For many years, our government has been prepared to continue and resume governmental operations in the case of an emergency, and we have, we have taught our individuals and families how to have their individual emergency plans. But the connection in the middle is how our communities uh, can be helped to have neighbors help each other, because there are going to be some people who are not able to fully help themselves in the case of emergency, either because they have a disability or they have a mobility issue, they're older, uh, perhaps they become injured in the emergency. And we uh, need to facilitate neighbors helping neighbors, and this guide will do that. So we train communities to make those connections, and it may be a large community where there's already a structure in place, it may be a small community where somebody steps up and says, I'll be the person on our block, or maybe it's a mid-sized community where people receive that training to be those connections. But um, what we're tapping into is Fairfax County's really um, tradition of volunteerism. It's one of the things that we're best at and that we're known for, and we want to encourage our neighborhood volunteers to uh, prepare our neighborhoods with our help. In the county, we have um, a lot of hazards that can impact us. Uh, the guide talks about what to do before, during, and after those hazards could affect you. Um, in the plan, we have 14 that we talk about. Uh, we split them up between natural hazards, man-made hazards, and then we also talk about everyday hazards like a fire or power outage. So that's kind of how the guide is broken down. Um, it allows the community to uh, look through the guide to develop and start a conversation with those uh, in their community, those in their family, uh, those that they work with and then they, there are templates there that they can use to better organize themselves, both individually, talking about checklists for preparedness, because the first step obviously is to make yourself prepared, and then the next step is to help your community um, prepare. And the guide itself really focuses on um, allowing people to define their own community. We have a group of trained volunteers here in the county that are ready and eager uh, to go out and help you uh, start with your own neighborhood group to prepare. We can uh, have you take the necessary steps to formulate a plan to be able to respond, starting with being able to define your neighborhood, knowing what the risks are, wh who are the functional needs or you know vulnerable populations in those areas, uh, how would you get go about getting uh, new leaders to be recruited, and also identifying all those risks and hazards that you may have. And so I would urge you just to uh, ask for a presentation, have one of our volunteers come out and talk to you and start, and start building that plan.